Hello everybody, this is the Daydreamer, Daydreams and Nightmares, and this is going to be my video entry into Gizmo17's 100 subscriber giveaway. Uh, this is uh, actually for Mr. and Mrs. Gizmo. Uh, they are doing a giveaway. I uh, ask that you are 18 plus. Uh, and what they are asking for or from you are uh, five different requests, a couple questions here, and also they're asking for you to shout out uh, a fellow YouTuber, you know, trying to help support other YouTube channels um, that are under 100. Um, I went through my list of subscribers. I thought it would be good to shout out somebody who supported me in, in my uh, trying to develop my channel, and uh, if they're under 100, uh, at this point, I think I, I decided to pick two. Um, and I'm going to leave down in the description below not only the link to uh, the Gizmotes channel and their giveaway, but also a link to both Planet Beagle Comics and League of Guile. Uh, they are each at like, one's at 57, the other one's at 60 subscribers right now. Uh, based on their content and the comic books and the thing that they, they've done with their channels, I think they definitely deserve more. At least deserve uh, a chance for some people to go check them out. Anyway, that's Planet Beagle Comics and Legion of Guile. Um, I do believe Legion of Guile is actually, uh, like our friend Kyle Waka, he's on the other side of the world. I believe he's an Australian. Um, I know Kyle's not Australian, he's actually a New Zealander, but um, he is on the other side of the world. Uh, anyway. Definitely go check out those guys, Planet Beagle Comics and Legion of Guile. I'll leave the links for their channels down below. Now, on to the questions. How long have you been collecting, and what got you into collecting? Um, for me, it's always been a passion to learn and read uh, anything I could get my hands on, including comic books. Um, anything, like I said, I just I, I loved to learn, and I loved to read growing up as a kid. Um, and comic books were just another way of doing it um, and I think uh, knowing that like uh, my, some of my favorite movies growing up as a kid I, I grew up in the 70s uh, as a young kid and that's when Star Wars came out and I got my very first comic book was a Star Wars comic book um, and it, it actually I had a, a book that was from the movie that I read and read and read and when I saw a comic book version of the movie that I could get my hands on I bought that as well and uh, over the years, watching different, sh you know, Spider-Man, Superman, uh, in the movie theaters and on on TV, uh, I just translated over into other opportunities to enjoy those franchises by reading the comic books, seeing different stories from them as well. Um, number two is what is your most unpopular opinion? I think I have two. Um, I'm not a big, huge DC guy, uh, and I, I, it can be polarizing. People say they're Marvel or they're DC. They're Marvel or they're DC, and I'm not. I'm I, well. I'm not a DC guy in the terms of I am not a big fan and don't have much in the world in the way of comic books of the mainstream DC characters. Uh, I don't have much Batman. I don't have much uh, Superman. I don't have much uh, Green Lantern or Aquaman or Flash or or Justice League or any of that. Now I've I've enjoyed the movies. I enjoyed the stories. I I I it just I've never gotten into any of the comic books. On the flip side, there's a whole line of comic books that DC puts out through Vertigo. It's more geared towards storytelling and adult uh, content, with uh, current titles like Shade and and Preacher. But I was reading, you know, Sandman and Swamp Thing and Animal Man and Hellblazer and all those stories. Those are the ones I got into at DC. But for the most part, most of my Marvel interests lie in the X-Men and Spider-Man and Hulk and your mainstream characters. So there's a difference there for me. Um, and that can be an uh, unpopular opinion in some cases. And I started kind of mentioning it as well. The other unpopular one I have is when I go out and I buy my comic books, I'm not swayed by the pretty pictures. I, I, I don't buy my comic books based on covers most of the time. There are some I just can't pass up. They're just too good. Um, 
but for the most part, that the first question I ask myself when I pick up a comic book is, am, am I going to read it? For me, it's a book. It's meant to be read. Um, and I know that's an unpopular opinion as well. It is also a work of art, and a lot of people throw up behind the slab, and that's all it is at that point, is a work of art. Um, so there are some differences of opinion in both respects, uh, it's, uh, and so that d does tend to be an unpopular opinion as well. Um, number three, what is your best non-LCS, non-internet clients? Um, I just recently, I think last week, put up some videos. I had gone up to the uh, Twin Cities in Minnesota here and did some uh, hunting through some antique shops and a retro toy store, which technically isn't, none of those are, are LCS, no, they're not comic shops, that's not what they're geared to do. Um, and I picked up some books and I showed them over three different videos because otherwise it would have been like probably 40, 45 minute long video. Um, Anyway, I have some books that I did pick up, but I'm going to show them off here. Um, and I did show them in the videos, but some of the some of the best ones I thought I picked up in that in that hunt. One of the antique shops I managed to pick up, uh, Incredible Hulk number 142, which I thought was a great pickup. Um, I know right now there's a lot of talk uh, about there being a uh, movie involving black cats. I know she is a uh, hot commodity right now as far as that's concerned and very happy at another antique shop to pick up this one which is the Amazing Spider-Man number 205 featuring the black cat. And of course um, I don't ever have an opportunity at any of the local comic book shops to ever get my hands on any type of uh, variants, especially of this type, um, and I showed this off as well. This is uh, DC Convergence, and I bought this strictly. Uh, like I said, I, I, I take back what I said. There are some exceptions to the rule. I bought this. I'm probably never going to read it, but I bought it because it is a one in 100 uh, Capullo sketch variant. Um, it's just one for 12 bucks. That's something I just could not pass up. Okay. And also at that same uh, shop that I got that, I got another one that answers both of these questions as well. Uh, actually, it's, it's question five. I'm going to skip one here just because this was part of it as well. Um, this is my first, very, very first also um, Scotty Young cover. Um, this is also a variant part of a series of five uh, connecting covers that I also picked up at that same antique shop um, and was very happy to pick this up as well. One, because it's Scotty Young and I didn't have any in my collection. Number two, I'm a big huge Guardians of the Galaxy fan and uh, this looks to be uh, basically a parody of that and uh, Looking forward to checking this one out as well. But this is uh, one of my favorite lesser known variants as well, um, which is your, your fifth request. And then I have a couple more in here as well. I recently got this from uh, the Doom 143. Huge Wolverine fan. Love the new movie that just came out. This is Old Man Logan number four, the manga variant with X-23 on the cover. Absolutely love this. And uh, also recently picked up, and I've shown this off a few times, this is a Black Frog variant of Tank Girl. Um, really, really, really like that cover as well. And lesser known titles as well, Tank Girl Gold, Two Tanks, One Girl, or two, uh, One Tank, Two Girls, and other ones that are being put out recently over uh, with the franchise from Tank Girl. Then, the question then was to show off a current on-hand grail. Um, I have a few here um, that I have that I think are, are for me, personal grails. Um, and I would be ones I, I, one of the last books I'd choose to part with. Uh, big, huge, amazing Spider-Man fan. Um, and I think it's nice to have this one, the first appearance of the black suit, in my collection. Uh, 
happy to have this and think of this as a grail as part of the Amazing Spider-Man line along with the other one I've shown recently too which is the uh, newsstand version of the uh, First Appearance Carnage Now I've been recently uh, I put out my list of what movie or what movies what uh, comic books that I am looking at trying to collect this year and two of the runs that I was working on trying to complete uh, was my New Mutants. Now I already have this in my collection so it wasn't it wasn't a grail that I was trying to attain. I was trying to fill in some holes but as far as the uh, New Mutants is concerned um, this is one that is considered by most to be the uh, Holy Grail in that run is the first appearance of Deadpool. And the other line that I'm working on trying to the run that I'm working on trying to recomplete re uh, is the Sandman, uh, the volume two from Neil Gaiman back in the uh, 80s and 90s as well. And uh, three of the hardest books in that run to get are in the first set. Um, and I did manage to get two of them. Uh, one of them is in my hand right here. Uh, one is the first appearance of Lucifer number four. Uh, of course, the very first book in the run, number one, and then this one as well, which is the uh, first appearance of death with Sandman, number eight. Very happy to get this in my hands as well and take that off my list for once I'm chasing after this year. And for me, that would be another personal grail. And like I said, one of the harder ones in that run to get your hands on. Anyway... Um, I hope that answers your questions. Definitely go check out Gizmo uh, 17. Once again, leave the link for them down below. That you guys have shouted out will be in the description down below. And uh, thank you for watching.